welcome students i am manish singh your math teacher and i welcome you all to class 7 this is our first online class so today we will discuss about the first chapter of mathematics that is a integer before we start i request to all of you sit with your pen and copies you may also note down the importance point so before integer first we will discuss about numbers we use number to count any things and sometimes numbers also so first number is a natural number all counting numbers known as a natural number counting number man num means which number we can count Natural numbers are counting numbers like as one, two, three, and four, and so on. Count natural number always be denoted by capital M. In the set of natural number, the smallest number is a one, and this is a very important point. If the question is asking, so which one is the smallest natural number? So you always write one is the smallest natural number. and which one is the biggest natural number so there is no any biggest natural number means does not exists so when we include zero in the set of natural number then we get another type number and that is called whole number so whole number all natural numbers along with zero so whole number always be denoted by capital w that is Zero, one, two, three, and so on, up to infinite. And this is symbol of the infinite. And in the set of whole number, zero is the smallest whole number. This is also very important. So what is the smallest whole number? So zero is the smallest whole number. And what is the biggest whole number? There is no any biggest whole number. So does not exist. And when we include the negative numbers in the set of the whole number then we get another and very important types of number and that is a integer so what is the integer all the positive all the positive numbers or negative numbers together with zero are called integer r integers include all natural numbers zero and negative number examples Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. In the integer, we have a three types number. First number is a which number is a on right side is known as the positive integer, and then second number is a which number is on the right left hand side is known as a negative number. and next third number is a zero and we have some important facts about the integer in the integer is a very important facts which one zero zero is neither positive nor negative means we can not write minus zero or plus zero we can write only zero without sign zero is a neither positive nor negative and every positive integer is greater than negative number integer so this is the positive integer so positive integer every positive integer is greater than zero and also negative integer also negative integer and the zero is less than every positive integer then as very important zero is zero is greater than every negative integer and these are very important facts about the integer i repeat again so listen carefully and keep in mind if you want to you can also write down in your copy in the integers we have a three types number first is a positive number second is a negative number and third is a zero positive number means which number we can write with the plus sign is known as a positive number 
negative number means which number we can write minus sign is known as a negative number and zero zero is a very important zero is a neither positive nor negative now next point how to represent integer on the number line here two types number line horizontal line and vertical line on a horizontal line when we represent the integer so always we put the zero on middle and the all the positive integer right right hand side of the zero and all the negative integer right left side of the zero means plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 these are a positive number so positive numbers always we write right side of the zero and negative number always we write left side of the zero means minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 4 5 and in the vertical line same as the downside of the zero always we write the negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and upside of the zero always we write the positive number plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and plus 4 so this is a very important point how to represent the integer on the number line now next and last points of the today comparison of comparison of integer so how to compare we compare by the three sign this is the sign of smaller and this sign of the greater and this is the sign of the equal so this is a very important rule which one when we compare the two integers so on the number line number lie on right hand side is greater than the number lie on the left hand side means look here which number is greater example minus 5 and minus 1 so minus 1 is the right side of the minus 5 so minus 5 minus 1 is the greater than minus 5 and next example plus 2 and plus 5 which one is greater so look here plus 5 is a lie on the right side of the plus 2 so plus 5 is greater than and minus 1 and 0 so which one is a is smaller or greater so 0 is a greater because 0 is a right side of the minus 1 minus 1 so my dear children that was all for today's class so today's homework is you revise the all the topics of integers so goodbye take care stay indoor stay safe god bless you